Hey guys, how are ya? My name is Sound of a Gap and this is Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Welcome back to a new episode and as you can see there's a little spoiler already. So you see the next map is gonna be called Mahakam and you see a dwarf over there already. I don't know who this is. Not really? No? No, I haven't seen him yet because I'm just at the beginning of Mahakam. But uh, we will get to Mahakam next week. In this week we still are in Edirne and we still have to get to Eldersburg. So, in this episode we are fighting a guy called Falberson and he is one of many traitors and we have to battle all of them at once. And the thing is we have to fight him twice and you will see why. Yeah, and then we will arrive at the outskirts of Eldersburg where we will have to fight a Nilf Guardian army before we can actually enter the city. Alright guys, so please enjoy. So then, let's take a look here. Meads Lyrians were traversing a wood when they heard the loud, drawn-out blast of a horn. One of our scouts? The queen asked, clearly perplexed. She turned in her saddle to face Reynard, who shook his head. Strange. Gascon. Appoint a few of your strays, ones who know how to blend in. Have them sniff out who blows that horn, and why. The scouts returned a short while later with their report. Soldiers had pitched camp in a nearby meadow. They wore Adernian uniforms, cut by sashes bearing a golden sun. They addressed their leader as Fulberson. Know the name, Rayla said. Fulberson went over to the enemy first day of the war, took his whole division with him. Your grace, a chance like this won't come again. Let's teach the traitors a lesson. Ah, some traitors. Yeah, yeah, because the sun is Nilfgaardian. But they are Adernian. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna attack. We must send a strong signal. One all the north will hear. From the Yoruga to the Dragon Mountains. Announced the queen. Whoever collaborates with the invader shall pay with his head. Prepare to attack. Rayla nodded, clearly pleased. The Lyrians surrounded the meadow marked by their scouts. Moments later, a flaming arrow pierced the sky, giving the signal to attack. And here we go. Edernian traders. Falberson was not the sole trader in the north. Many of the land's wealthiest allied, uh, wealthiest allied with the empire, bribed by the promise of riches and privilege, and sometimes under duress. They had struggled to discern whether the kings themselves were striking deals with the invaders. Hanselt of Cadwin, Foltest of Temeria, and it, and it did appear, after all, that the longer the war dragged on, the less resistance Nilfgaard seemed to encounter. Reduce the retreat timer to zero. Aha, it's a shortened battle. Let's see what we can do. Let's try this. Is that we need two arms? <laughs> hundred and fifty-two, hundred and fifty-four. Yeah, he's just boosting himself. So what do we have? We have both those guys out, of course. Um, after two turns on turn start, increase Falberson's retreat timer by one. Death was reduced the timer by two. Yeah, we have to kill this guy. Uh, reduce this artifact's timer by one for every unit played from the opponent's hand. When the timer reaches zero, Count Falberson escapes and Meath wins the battle. Aha! So we need, just need to kill these guys to reduce it by two. That would be the quickest way. I still have the flail. I have some stray slingers. I have my bombers. I just need to kill this guy before the second round. Mmm, you can kill him right away with her ability. I could just put out a trap in the background. Sure, let's do that. Will it move the other car too? Yeah, okay, but that doesn't matter. Down to seven. And on we go. Down to one. 
Scrubbing duty again? Oh god. This is good, so now we can actually use some fire. Catch. On the back row, he might die, and if not, I can still use my stray slingers next round. Uh, I'm gonna move this one to get give Gaskin one more boost already. Yo. Did. Nice. New orders? No? Ah. This man has suffered much. <laughs> okay. Um should I kill him right away? I think I could just wait for the next round. I can get my bomber back and use it on this guy. Just need to kill two more. Let's try and do this quickly. It's down to one. Just one more card and it's over. Done. <laughs> We surrender. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> the traitors, perhaps used to fighting unsuspecting foes, stood no chance against the determined Lyrian attack. At its conclusion, me personally knocked Fulberson off his mount, then tore off his visor. The face she saw evoked more sympathy than hatred. Fulberson was an old, sickly man, his skin pale and blemished. With great difficulty, he pulled himself up on his knees, then extended a shaky hand in pleading. Your Grace, have mercy. The Nilfgaardians forced me to treason. They threatened torture. Me felt her soldier's eyes on her. They awaited her decision. How would she treat this traitor? Would she really execute him as a warning to others? Hmm. Hmm, show mercy or hang, Falberson. <sighs> I pity the old man, to be honest. It might not be the best decision to do. But, um... Yeah, we're gonna show mercy. I hereby dissolve your division, Falberson. And you... Surrender your sword and be on your way. The traitor threw himself at the queen's feet. You've shown mercy befitting a truly great ruler, your grace. A thousand thanks. To the west of here lie my lands. Visit me. I shall throw a sumptuous feast in your honor and provide a generous donation to your fight against our common foe. Ah, nice. Holberson to stand. Yeah, of course. Her Lyrians reluctantly stepped out of the departing traitor's way. Yeah. When he passed Black Railer, she spat at his feet. <laughs> that much was obvious, and yeah, I, I knew it would. Re I, I I assumed it would reduce my morale, but yeah. I hope it's still fine, and I hope I can get my morale back up again. So, Meave and her Lyrians arrived at Fulberson's lands, ah. the home of the traitor she had let live. He greeted the queen with full honors. In ceremonial garb, a platter of bread and salt held aloft. Your grace, tis an honor to welcome you to my humble abode. Please, come inside. A fattened piglet already turns on the spit. Soon, I shall fetch my best wines from the cellar. Hmm. Look at his face. He looks cunning. Does he mean what he says, or is this a trap? Meave, having lived on nothing but salt pork and gruel for weeks, was tempted to accept the offer. Black Rayler, however, was strongly against it. Ma'am, forgive my insolence, but to eat from a traitor's table is foolish. Don't do it. Hmm, yeah, I think she fears the same. Hmm... But we let him live. I want to see this through. Meave ignored Rayla's warning, and for her part, Rayla refused to partake of the feast. The queen attended in the company of only her closest advisers. The table groaned under all the refined delicacies laid out upon it, and rivers of wine were served. Fulberson delivered a flattering toast in Meave's honor. 
You could search all the world and not find such a ruler. One so brave, so merciful, and so naive. With these last words, heavily armed Nilfgaardian soldiers poured out of the adjoining rooms. Sure. Neve leapt away from the table, barely dodging the bolts and flying towards her. She drew her sword. Sure. That's what I was expecting. Here we go into battle then, with a depleted morale. An attempt on the Queen. Nilfgaardian assassins are often considered the best in the world. This comes as no great surprise, for, the clearly, for they clearly have plenty of practice. These professional murderers strike not only at the Empire's enemies in the north, but also those more domestic to solve internal disputes. Why? Mysterious disappearances and improbable accidents are as commonplace in Emhir's court as unplanned pregnancies and masquerade balls. We have to eliminate Falberson. Do not let any allies die. Ah, this is a puzzle. Okay, so the depleted morale is not necessary here. We don't have to take a look at, at that, but we will see how we can finish this. Only a fool darts so mighty mm. now, are you me? Mm. You pay for this. Yep, he will. <laughs> Falverson, slayer of the great beam. <laughs> Sounds rather good, doesn't it? <laughs> me, catch! I've no intention of dying today. You fight in vain. This is where you die. Oh, okay. So we need to eliminate him, although we can't attack him directly. He's immune. So he spawns two fellows and guards. He did that. Yes. Uh, when this unit's timer expires, destroy a random enemy unit. Which could be one of my... Banquet... Tables. Increase the timers of all units on the opposite row by two. Aha. That's a death, death wish. Anything else? No. Uh, Falberson's guard. Damage count Falberson by 9. Okay, we have to kill these two somehow. Let's start with Meef. Um, orna ornamental sword. That's new. Damage an enemy by the power of your lowest ally. Oh, this picture is really gruesome. Wow, through the head. And it is triggered when played, so we play her last, I think. Gaskin. On deploy melee, damage an enemy by 3. On deploy ranged, move any card to the other row on its side. After two turns on turn start, move this unit and Reynard from battlefield to hand. Ah, oh, they're coming back. And I could either move cards to the other side. No, move any card to the other row on its side. Ah, oh, okay. Or we could damage an enemy by three. Mm-hmm. Reynard, flip over the banquet table. Aha. Uh -huh. Why? Why if... Oh! To give two more. A time of two more. Okay. So... I think we're gonna start with Gaskin then, because he will come back after two rounds. We will play him and then Reynard. And then him and Reynard, him and Reynard, always switching between those two. And in the end, we're gonna play her. It's just a question, should he be on the melee or the ranged row? I wanna try and attack the uh, the guards already. Let's do that. Nothing personal, I assure you. Let's start with this guy. Mm, okay, now it's Reynard. We can, can play him here as well. Her Majesty knows what she's doing. Um, oh, it doesn't matter which one then. Sure, let's just... First we can see. So, time has increased. But only his. Ah. Now they're both back. So now we have to play Gaskin as again. Or oh, maybe he got. Maybe it was just his timer which got. Um, 
two more rounds and the other's not because he's on this row. Maybe we need to put him to the back row. Hmm, let's see. I want to try this. So we're going to move him here Coin never stinks, and no move matter how him back. So then it's Reynard once more. Yeah, let's just even the plate, so to say. To ah, now everybody has 3-4-3. Three, three. Okay, okay, that's better. Now they're back again. So, what was Meef again? An enemy by the power of your lowest ally. Which is four. Oh, so we just need to reduce him by f uh, to four. Let's do that. So we're gonna play here. <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Yes. Uh, and turn. Uh, yeah. And then it's Reynard again. Company, forward march. Nice, and turn. Ah, oh, I still have to play these. So... We're just gonna keep attacking. And just when you thought things were about to get dull. And we're gonna take... Reynard again. We must trust each other. Let's get rid of this. And turn. Now they're back, and I will play him once more. Quick and painful this'll be. Reduce him to one. And turn. And now if, when we play Meef, it should be done, right? Ah, uh, I think I fucked it up. Shall bring a I sh I uh, I sh oh, no, no, no. That's a, that's, a, that's a mistake. Shit. Yeah, yeah. I should have killed the one with only just one HP left. That's what I should have done. Yeah, let's skip this all. We know this, we know this. So I'm gonna do this. Yes, come on. So we're gonna do it the same way again. And now we're playing him once more. Yes. Attacking this guy. Deet. And she will attack by four next round. We will never bow and to Deet. The there we go. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Gods have mercy. They, 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 they forced me. Meave fought her way out of the trap, and Fulberson, a traitor twice over, finally died as he deserved, skewered on a sword in a puddle of blood. Reynard. Yes, Your Grace. Should I appear ready to forgive again? To let treason go unpunished? The Queen said, <laughs> wiping her blade on a lace-fringed tablecloth. Kindly remind me of Falberson's feast. Meave went on her way as soon as she could. Taking with her a hefty load of the oath-breaking lord's belongings. Yes. And some valuable experience. Nice. We have a new card, Meef Ornamental Sword. That's the one we just got. We're gonna take a look again. It might have changed. Sometimes they change. Sadly, the morale didn't go up. I was hoping that I would redeem myself with that, but no, I didn't. First, let's take a look at a new report. Letter to Falberson. To Count Johan Falberson from Colonel File Ab Grunf. Received your report. I've sent a division of soldiers to your estate to help prepare the trap. If M proves as naive as you suspect and accepts the invitation, kill her during the feast. If she refuses, reveal nothing. Your reward shall be as we agreed, as shall the punishment for insubordination. Well then, you've done goofed. I won. Let's take a look at this new Meef ability. So we have this at the moment, and that's the new one. Ornamental sword. Damage an enemy by the power of your lowest ally, then trigger all allies. Loyal abilities. 
Cool down four, so it's one more. And this could be good if I have just high allies. If I just use, for example, my Lyrian Scythemen and boost them till they have 30 or something. And then I could use it and... But I'm just damaging one. And if the other enemies are not that high, so in a boss battle, so to say, this might be useful. But other than that... Mm. If you just have an ally with two, like a medic, for example, then you would just hurt by two. And a cooldown by four, is, it's pretty long. So, maybe some other time. Not yet. Okay, so what do we have here? Your Majesty, the town is indeed deserted, but prisoners remain shackled in the dungeons beneath the courthouse. The Adernians must have forgotten them during their retreat. What should be done with them? We could use them to bolster our forces, though I have an inkling they may not prove the most disciplined of recruits. Every sort of counts, we take them with us. Or I don't want such gen degenerates in our ranks. Yet I can't let them rot in the dungeons, we'll lease them. We're gonna take them with us because our morale is down anyways, so... Let's do that. As Meave passed the city of Harmelin, one of the peasants she'd saved from Nilfgaardian captivity requested an audience. Be taking leave uh -huh. of here, milady. Oh, really? No, they're leaving. Our parts lives in Harmelin. We'll manage. But, milady, we'd, uh, we thank you for taking pity on us time and again. Yeah. So those are the guys I saved back when we fought against... Was it against the Guardians? I think so. They were on a cart, and I took them... Well, on a caravan, and I took them with me. And in between, some of the fools robbed me and left, and I kept the rest. I told them they have to stay. And those are the guys who are leaving now for good. Okay. But at least they, at least they say thank you. A bone talisman. What is this? We're gonna take a look in just a bit. We've nothing, milady, or near enough. Black-clad bastards took all's worth taking, except in this amulet. Been in my family for ages. Kept us from harm. May it do the same for you. Me wanted to say she did not believe in peasant superstitions, but when she took the ivory pendant in hand, she felt a curious warmth from it. Ah. The peasant bowed. Then joined the others as they trod off towards Harmelin. All right. But before we talk to you guys, let's take a look at this um, new cart, which is already here. A mysterious ability lies within. Okay. I could just figure it out by using it once or twice or so. But uh, actually, I'm gonna Google that again. So, Google says, the mysterious ability is one of three effects. Capture a random enemy. Aha. Uh -huh. Does he mean by capture he's going to be on my side and I can play it as my card? Or is it just you staying on my side and can't do anything? Hmm. Destroy the weakest ally and boost five random allied units by the destroyed unit's power. Hmm. Okay. Move all units between rows and damage all enemies by two and boost all allies by the same amount. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure if I want any of this. We're safe behind these walls. Just for now we are. You think you're safe standing here in the fire, really? You've twice shown us mercy, Millie. Millie Delay bless you twice over just the same. <laughs> Thanks. Your Majesty. Wear it round your neck always. It'll keep evil from you. You've twice shown hmm. us. Okay, then let's go on. Ah, uh, what's gonna happen here? Main mission. The Lyrians stood within five miles of Aldersburg when the road, which until now they had travelled alone, suddenly filled with all manner of folk. Peasants. Merchants and wounded fighters in tattered uniforms. They trod solemnly in the opposite direction, their worldly possessions on their backs. Oldersburg's fallen, my lady. Sighed one of the refugees with a forlorn shrug. Outer walls breached. King still defends the old town, but black-clad goats are winning. 
You best turn back before it's too late. We've nowhere to turn to, good man. The queen said. Then spurred on her horse. Follow me. The queen galloped so fast the wind squeezed tears from her eyes. The Lyrian cavalry close at her heels. Hoofbeats thundered down the high road, and the crowd of refugees parted, making a path for the charging riders. Faster! Faster! Soon they set eye on Aldersburg. A red glow filled the horizon. The wind carried screams and the clanking of steel. The once proud city was quickly turning to dust in the Nilfgaardian sun. The Nilfgaardian force moved to block the Lyrian's way. Without slowing, Meave cut down the infantryman who tried to drag her from her saddle with a hook. Her head in a winged helmet fell to the ground, leaving a bloody trap. Lyrians! Attack! Meave shouted. Take no prisoners! Oh. We're going into battle against Nilfgaard. Okay. Aldersburg outskirts. The invading forces ignored the Lyrians at first. After all, the Nilfgaardians were better equipped, better trained and most importantly held a considerable numer numerical advantage. However, their supremacy quickly began to vanish. Black-clad soldiers fell one after the other to the blow blows from Meave's infantry. The Nilfgaardian commander, watching in disbelief, trumpeted for reinforcements. It's a story battle, it's a standard one, so it's gonna be three rounds. Let's see if we can do it on the first try. Alright, I'm gonna start with these guys. Um, the thing is, as you can see, my morale is still down, so this might be pretty tough. Well, let's hope for the best. Yes. Bloody hell. You shall stop me. Not now. Uh okay, he's he's, he's got a lot of cards. Wait, what the hell did he just do? Damage enemy by the number of your allied units. Oof. Okay, we have to reduce those quickly. Um draw a copy of this unit. All copies of this unit from his hand and deck. So we just need to kill one of these, then they will all be gone. Every time on turn start, boost adjacent units by one if this unit has armor. Whew. I think I'm gonna use her ability pretty soon. And I think I wanna start with a bomber. And then maybe a pitfall trap. I wanna put a bomb back there, use her ability. And... Yeah. I think this might be the best idea. Mm, can just stay back here. This guy might just nice die. Leak. So let's attack. It doesn't matter which ones. Okay. Uh, yeah. So far. One is dead. The other one should die as well. Ah, uh, just on hand. Hmm. It's not on the field. After one turn, turn start, summon a copy of this unit from your deck, so he will just get more of these. Armor is gone. Nice, this is very good. He will just spawn another one. I don't mind at that point. I'm gonna play this card. Put a trap out, yes. Uh, sure, and turn. Mm, he's gonna attack. He's damaging by two. He might kill him. I don't like that. She doesn't have her ability yet. Uh, <laughs> um, should I play Rayla already? I think she might be useful. And then Xavier as well. I might get her back with, with a decoy card for the second round. He's attacking by how many? By two. I, no, I don't want to use my boosting card yet. Mm, or I could just move them. Now let's play Rayla. Doggo is out as well. Mm, now the AI has to think again. <laughs> oh, he has two charges. Okay, he's gonna kill him anyways, right? Two more charges. Uh, yeah, that was not great. 
Um, <laughs> should I use her ability right away to move them back? What do I still have? I think I'm gonna take Gaskin for the second round. Uh, Reynard. Maybe also for the second round. I w might take another Stray Bomber. And then I have still some Slingers, although I could just use my Scytheman. Actually, we're gonna play Xavier first. Get into work. So now, actually, we're gonna keep the A straight bomber for the second round. Same with the trap. I can play three cards. Hmm. If I have Rayla for the second round and I put him out, I can just go for one more card. Which might which will be him. To get more stray slingers, I have to play Scytheman. Let's do that. You can stay up there. This is, we'll be reaping black clad heads. Take another one. My spirit's willing and how so now we're gonna move three guys back. Those three. Lose adjacent units by one if the unit has air. We have to do this. Nice, this one is gone. This one is dead. And now we have one more card to play. We're gonna take one Stray Slinger. Sure, you can stay up here. One, two, and three. Good. Um, not moving this card. And our turn. He passed? Are you kidding? Okay. So we're gonna take back Rayla. That I can use her in the second round. We will lose two Stray Slingers. We still have these three cards. Doggo will stay. Yeah, I think this is a good idea. Take her back. And we're gonna end our turn. <laughs> I could just make him use more cards, but no, we're gonna pass. One, two, three, four, five, six cards on my hand. He has five. Seven, eight, nine. Gaskin is there. This is awesome. This is really good. This is really good. I'm gonna get Reynard later. I have another Pitfall Trap. I have the Bomber. I have her abilities. I have the Stray Slingers. I can still use this one. This might look good. Yeah, we're gonna take those cards. Yeah. Because there's no Scytheman. That was actually nice. Oh, it's my turn. Uh, should we start? Let's start with Fire in the back row right away. And then we're gonna put a trap there as well. Or maybe just the trap first? Nah, let's play him. Yeah. You mad? Don't shake that! Ah, oh, damn it. Wise choice. He can attack by one, okay. Yeah, he's gonna do that, right? Yeah. He's gonna hurt... ...by two, then, because he's gonna play another card. I'm just gonna play this one back here. And I could use this one already. Just to damage him. Though I'm not sure what, what's coming next. Although it would take three rounds to get another... Yeah, let's just move it. Let's just do that right away. And do this too. And on we go. Guess he's got another charge, yep. Yeah, because he can't attack the dog. Attacking him isn't the worst, to be honest, because I don't need him anymore. We still have Rayla. Should I play her right now? Actually, I could do that. Yeah, let's play Rayla. I'm gonna keep her up here. Oh, so then. No other way. Next round, we can get Reynard. 
Yeah, order. Yeah, okay, he's gonna get what? Lose self by two and gain two armor. Yeah, that's okay. I can move them back next round with her. So, first of all... Gonna get him. Stay up there, that's fine. Company, forward march. Uh, why doesn't he give get order? It's depleted order. This order's depleted. I thought I could move it once more. Hmm. Okay, well, who do I have still on my deck? Okay, I'm gonna wait for the Stray Slingers for the next round. I'm just gonna play... Should I play Gaskin already? I, I could hurt him. I could hurt those right away up there. By moving them backwards. But then I can't use her ability. I'm gonna play him. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Go on, M. Kazel. Okay, if in hand, what was it? If in. He killed my bomber, okay. If in hand, deck or on the battlefield, strengthen self by two whenever an enemy unit appears on the ranged row. Okay, so I'm gonna go for melee row. This isn't too bad. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna play her. Move these three back. Yep. Yeah. He's gonna, gonna let him stay there, probably. Although I might just move him again. I could just move this one and this one and the trap forwards with a stray slinger and then move them back again. I have still. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So that means we're gonna play a stray slinger right here. Bigger they are, easier they are to one, two, three. Nice. And we're gonna play another one. One, two, and three. Alba! Okay, that guy is dead. We need to move him back. I'm not gonna move this guy. Actually, I don't. I, I, I wanna move these three. Yeah, let's do that. Hey. Two more turns and I have my ability back. Nice. Very good. That guy again. Did and did. Ooh, so many died. I like it. I could kill two right away with this card but before I do that I'm gonna take a look what we'll get with this one destroy two cards to the right if they were units boost served by ah oh, no I don't like that summon all copies I don't have these Whoa, are you joking those are really bad cards let's use this one uh, yeah this was not good that was just not good Ah oh, well. Uh, oh, I can, I, I can, but I won't. I don't have to play him right now. And loyal, he will gain a charge. So next round, she will do any uh, uh, something already. So we're gonna use this on him. He's dead. And we're gonna end our turn. Discipline. That's what you folk lack. Hmm, okay. So... Hmm... Let's, let's, let's just do this. And, yeah, we're gonna keep her ability for the next round still, yeah. But this should be a win already. Unless he has some... No, nah, he doesn't have anything great. Yeah, that's my win. Awesome. So we're gonna get started with this one. Beautiful. Do this. Deet. And deet. And hit him by one. And that was, in the end, easier than I thought.
Nice. Two rounds, two wins. The Lyrians managed to scatter the Nilfgaardian battalion, one of many besieging Aldersburg. Their scouts brought before the Queen a prisoner freed from the invaders. Neve inquired about the situation in the city. Turn the right slaughterhouse in us. The Imperial sleep. King had the city cleared, my lady, but didn't budge himself. Holding out with his guard in old town, walls still standing there. Said he'd fight to the end. Come with me. So is Dimavent dead then? Neve weighed her options. The situation looked dire. Demavend, to whom she had come for help, needed help himself. Nilfgaard enjoyed an overwhelming advantage. The small Lyrian detachment stood no chance of breaking the siege. But to retreat, surrender, that was not something Neve did. The Nilfgaardians do not expect a relief force. Hmm. Rayla, you know Aldersburg. Can you lead us by side streets to the old town? That we may avoid the largest part of the Nilfgaardian army. Ah. The warrior nodded, and without waiting for any further orders, strode out in front of the party. Reynard followed her with his gaze, clearly troubled. And and what then, Your Majesty? We burst into the lion's den and And we pray the lion chokes. <laughs> Follow me. Okay. Well then, we will go on just a how is my morale still down? This was a standard battle. It should be on normal. What the hell? Okay, let me just get that stuff. And now let's talk to him. The walls are crushed and breached. The lower town in flames. Hundreds, thousands wounded. Thousands more fled. King Demavent will fight to the end. He'll save the city or die with it. Turn back. Turn back while you've the strength to run, while you have your life. Aldersburg falls! Aldersburg is lost! We're still gonna go on. Turn back. No, no, we're not turning back. So, before we go on, let's just take a look. There is the end. Okay, so we can still go over here because we can talk to these guys. <laughs> Funny. All right, this is um, twelve post. Yeah, I'm not gonna go on yet. Let's just open the card, uh, uh, the map, and we're gonna take a look if we can if we, if we missed anything. Uh, scouts is triangle. Yes. Okay, we lost some stuff. So it means they found something. I know this one, and I know this one. Huh? There's nothing! What are you telling? What are you telling me? All areas revealed? Yeah, but... There's nothing new. I spent 50 gold for nothing? I know there's those two areas, but I need wood to um, cover those spikes, and I don't want to do that. I got everything. Okay, so then we can go on.